Zoom video is currently the go-to online communications platform and there's no doubt about that. A cool feature that Zoom offers is the ability to change your video background to create a virtual image of your choice. It's basically like having a green screen behind your video which can help out with your online branding or just for aesthetic appeal. Hi, this is Nick from Snappa, and in today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Zoom virtual background, just like the one we have here, in less than five minutes. So let's get right into it. What you want to do first is make sure that you have the best Zoom background image size so that your photo is optimized for Zoom's guidelines. The recommended Zoom background photo dimensions are 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. This is an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Also note that your image should be under 5 megabytes in size, be within these file formats, and that your zoom is updated to at least version 3.5 or higher to meet zoom's requirements. To make things simple, we're going to use Snappa to create a zoom virtual background in less than 5 minutes. So I'm going to start by adding in the zoom background dimensions that we mentioned earlier, so 1920 width with a height of 1080. Once I have an empty canvas created, I want a simple design that will cover up the whole backdrop. So I'll navigate to the backgrounds tab in the top left here. So once I'm in the backgrounds tab, I can select a photo from the free stock photo library that Snap offers. I could also choose a simple pattern background. I could upload my own image, or I can even choose a simple colored background using the color picker here. So for your background image, you actually wanna keep it as minimal as possible. I'd recommend going to our patterns tab and checking out the simple designs that we have there. These are all very easy to work with and it doesn't take too much away from the video call. Another great background idea is to navigate to our photos library and to search for minimal photo. From here you have a variety of images to choose from and these are all simple to use. So another popular background idea for Zoom is to choose a travel destination. So you can type in travel into our photo library and choose a scenic background that you like. So here we have Paris. And if you scroll down even more, you have a ton of other options that you can pick from. Alternatively, we can go in and create a simple virtual branded background for Zoom. So I'm gonna go back to the backgrounds tab I'm going to navigate to the Patterns tab, and I'm going to go ahead and select a simple pattern that matches our brand. Once I've found that, I'm going to click on it, and it's going to appear onto the canvas. So the next thing I want to do is actually add our company logo onto the design. So I'm going to navigate to the Graphics tab. I'm going to go to the Uploads tab. And once I've uploaded my company logo, I'm going to navigate to the library here and click on it. Once it's in, I can reposition it and resize it to where I want it to be. I'd recommend either sticking to the left side or the right side since you'll be on video inside right in the center here. Once you have your logo in place, you can also add text if you want. I'd recommend not adding too much since once again you want to keep the background minimalistic. But if you're using Zoom for business, you might want to add your website into the graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the text and add the website in here. From here, I can also change the font style to the font style of choice. Once I have that, I can also change the color to the font color that I want, which is will be white here. And I'm also going to increase the size a bit. And I can also reposition it to where I want it to be onto the graphic. So once I'm done with my virtual background design, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. So for here, I'm going to name it Zoom Background. Now I'm also going to save it to Snappa so I can make modifications in the future. Once I'm done that, I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG. And from here, I can upload it directly into Zoom. So when adding a virtual background into Zoom, you want to make sure it's enabled first. So you want to go to the zoom.us website, log in, Navigate to your settings tab. Navigate to in meeting advanced. And from here, you want to just make sure that the virtual background is toggled on. Once that's done, you can open up Zoom on your operating system. You want to navigate to the settings tab in the corner here. From here, you can click on virtual background. And now you can add the virtual background image that we just created into Zoom. 
make sure to click mirror my background at the bottom so that your image is flipped properly. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you're looking for more information on Zoom virtual backgrounds, check out the full detailed blog post that we wrote down below. And if you found our video valuable, please drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more social media related videos. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.